Hello friends, we are going to see how to create a script file and function file in MATLAB. And uh, you know, we are going to see the first two problems given here. And third problem, I think you can do on your own once you know how to create function file in MATLAB because all the problems are related to basic chemical engineering. Let us see that. So this is the screen of uh, MATLAB online and uh, what I'll do is I'll go to home, new and script. So the first uh, you know uh, problem which is given here is about converting Celsius to Kelvin. So there are some values given here. So you know we need to enter this vector and we want that as a Kelvin and then we need to plot it. So this is since it is a script file it don't it doesn't require any input. I write this is a script file that converts temperature from Celsius to Kelvin. Right, so I'll I say that I want Tc equals to input Okay, we'll enter here, enter the value of temperature in Celsius and we suppress the output by putting semicolon. Then Tk is equal to Tc plus 273.15 and then we write, okay, we keep it till this point we save this and we write this name as tctk or maybe tc2tk whatever you want to give press ok so this is your script file now how do i run it i come down to the command window i type the name of the script file that is tctk and i press enter so it will ask me to provide the values of uh, you know temperature though i have got the listed here 50, 70, 80, I can write anything here. Let's say I'll go with 50, 70, 80, 95, sorry, 95, 110, 120, 135, 150. Take it over. So I have entered the, uh, you know, vector of temperature in Celsius. I press enter and I get it in Kelvin. So this is my, uh, you know, TCTK. Now what? Suppose if I want to now the other other portion of the same problem says that plot C and K. It is plot T C and T K. So I can put that you know uh, command here as well. T C comma T K. And that's it. Right. And I save it again. I clear all the variable here. I run the code again I need to enter some values so I enter the values and I'll be getting the plot as well see this is my plot of TC and TK if I want I can label it uh, if how to you know decorate your plot you can just you know type here help plot and you'll get all the details related to the plotting right sorry right let us let me take it upward right so i can get everything here related to the function plot so you can explore this and you can see how can you make your plot better but this is how your first uh, script file will look like so it's very simple to generate a script file you don't need to do any input the user will give you input and you just write the function clear okay so i'll clear clear all the 
variables here from MATLAB you know uh, right so I'll write clear CLC fine so now the next step is how do I generate function file right so let us try and develop function file so I go again to home new function the good part about the new version is that it will you know it will give you the you know default required syntax you know when you open a function so what are we trying to get is we are trying to get the bubble point p so <clears throat> how do we calculate bubble point p bubble point p is a p is x1 p1 set plus x2 p2 set that's what i'm supposed to do right now what i'm doing here is i'm going to assume that i have got p1 set and p2 set value but say for example uh, you know you have been given uh, you know a binary system say for example methanol water then for methanol find out n to its constant enter temperature and calculate p1 set for water find out n to its constant enter temperature calculate p2 set so that will become your p1 set and p2 set right so that way you can work it out here what i'm going to do is my output would be p set only so i'll say here p set since it is a single variable you can even keep it outside the you know uh, the parenthesis it's okay you can give the name here say for example i give vappr that is vapor pressure and my inputs are here i am taking input as uh, sorry it's not p set because i'm going to get the bubble point so i'll get say p and my input here i'm directly getting x and p so that i can directly you know explain what uh, you know i'm trying to get you can also calculate the vapor pressures since there is only one output argument the other argu uh, uh, output argument i'll just convert it into comment so i don't need that my output argument one is nothing but p so i'll write p here and i'll write here you know uh, x say for example i'll explain you here and then i'll go back to the uh, you know function say so x is 0.2 and 0.8 so this is my x binary system right bubble p is for binary system and p set for me is uh, say for web component one being more volatile i'll say h 860 and 340 so what is my bubble point? Bubble point is x1 p1 set. It is x1 p set 1 plus x2 p set 2. So this is my pressure. So that should be my answer. Now I can even use you know uh, mathematics uh, so i'll clear p let's say i'll clear p so p is clear i can use this as well i can use the you know uh, i can use the uh, uh, quality or characteristics of matrix multiplication what does matrix multiplication do right when i say p set dash it is it becomes nothing but let's say let me show you p set prime is nothing but the transpose of p so when i say p is x multiplied by p sat dash it will give me 444 4, 4. because what will happen is x1 into p sat 1 plus x2 into p2 set so it will be matrix multiplication right so i'll do that here directly i'll write here x into p sat dash right okay so I'll clear everything here, I'll write CLC, so screen also will be wiped off and I'll save this, I have to save this with the same name as that of this, so I'll write, I'll save it and I'll save it as VAPPAR, VAPPAR, right, okay. Now what I need to do is, now see, this function will require two inputs x and p set unless and until i give these two inputs this function will not be working so it is not necessary that i give x and p set say for example i say m is equal to my uh, liquid phase mole friction 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 0.3 
let me go with same 0 0.2 0 0.8 so that you realize it is giving you the same answer i i can decorate this i can write here and right here vppr calculates uh, bubble p of a binary system uh, it requires the liquid phase mole friction and vapor pressure as input right then i write Right, this is okay. I think this is uh, more than uh, enough. I'll write this. So, M is my liquid phase mole fraction, and let's say I write P set or, or P set equals my vapor pressure. So, I'll, I'll write vapor pressure. I forgot exact values, but 860 and 340, something like that. Right, and then what I do is I write P or bubble P, I'll write, let's say bubble P equals VAP PR into M comma P set right so see this is my output variable this is the name of the function which I am calling which is this nothing but this and these are the two variables M and P set so M will be you know assigned value assigning value to X and that will go here and I'll just press enter and I'll get the value of P right so this is how you can call your function so you write function here and call it here. Now what I am, I was trying to say is that here I have given directly the values of P set. You can get, you can, you can, you can enter temperature here as an input variable X and T and you can ask, you can write equations here where you calculate vapor pressures P1 set and P2 set and then you calculate P. So you can try out various ways. How do you modify this particular function to make it more general in nature, right? And this particular, uh, you know, uh, file which is shown here where you want to need to calculate V, right? What you need to do is you need to use F0, right? So we'll see how to, you know, use F0, right? Uh, when we want, when we, you know, uh, uh, use MATLAB, right? So I think uh, this particular video will give you an idea about how to write a script file and a function file in MATLAB.